Hello and welcome back to Metroid Prime. Get for the door, Sammy. Something so wide and thick. So we're in the drifts. It's very nice here. It's kind of snowy. There's some stuff going on. I like it. Uh, we're probably not going to jump in the water. I imagine that's quite bad for us. Sammy doesn't say as much, but I'm, I'm imagining. Ra Radian? <laughs> not sure we can blow it with Radian. Doubt it's. Oh, nice. Oh, that's neat. Well, that looks important. Let's <coughs> sneak our way through. Right, what is this? The door directly above has been unlocked. Well, that's handy. Hello, little little bug creature. Gonna have to blow you up. You're, you're in the way. Can we actually walk in this? Okay. Huh, figured that'd be too cold. Oh, yeah, we got a virus suit. Duh. Right. So the door directly above has been unlocked. Uh, anything else we can do around here? You know, actually jump in the water is a bad idea since, you know, it's... <coughs> Sammy weighs about probably roughly two or three tons. Not great swimmer. Oh, okay. Not a great uh, platformer either. Uh, there we go. Alright, finally. Uh, so the door directly above has been unlocked, which is... Ow, little bastards. Probably this one. Uh, can't really do much with this without the ability to jump further. Oh, I hear something. Mm, seems to be a goodie somewhere. Maybe the door up there. Again, can't do a lot. We'll work out that later. Mm -hmm. This is a bit trickier. Oh, this this could be a new this could be a new man though. It's a new man. What are you? You are a scatter bombu. I guess you scattery bombuy. Whoop. Oh well, that was that was well done. Well done, Sammy. Nice. Let's go. Whoop. This place looks interesting. What we got here? Don't know what that is. Ah, it's got three pictures. Probably quite nasty. A she goth. Okay, how do we deal with that? It has a sheet of ice. Okay. So k kill the back then. Hey. Ow. Oh, they're not, they're not really caring about that particularly, are they? Alright, well... Oh, nice! Once we get the back, they're pretty much toast. Well, ice toast? Frozen? Oh, I mean, that looks kind of gooey. It's gross. Okay, well, looking around this area, what we got here? Mm, spiky things, climby things. Lots of things. Hmm. Hmm. Extreme heat. Well, can't do anything about that right now. Don't have anything that can make extreme heat. But I can climb with the best of them. Boop. Boop. Do not fall. Let's see here. Can I charge beam these suckers? No. Oh, is that new? No. I thought it was a golden one. I thought I was going to be very excited there. Ah, this could be important. Damn it! It's not important. It's the same era I was in earlier. Oh, the pain. The pain of failure. It's upon me. Never mind. So we'll get Sammy's big old self climbing up here again. Ugh. Nice. This time with less failure, or falling, or both. Preferably both. Whoop. Uh, this is just the door above. Alright, well. Whoop. All this, when on earth are we ending up? Let's have a look. Pro ah, back the way we came. However, it takes us to a higher level, which is good. There's definitely something out there too. Look at that, it's like a little hole in the wall. I'll have to come back to that. Hello? Some sort of spitty creature. What are you? Ice burrower. Guess what, burrowers? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ah. My plan of uh, not getting hit by that was uh okay. Well they're pretty easy to do, we just shoot them. Okay. Whenever you're ready, sir. Oh, sorry, my mistake. 
Alright, well, I've been good. Thanks. It's just what I, what I wanted. There's like little phase on pools here or something. Right. Do not fall off, otherwise we do not get to pass go. We want that up there. Missile expansion. I mean, we can jump on this, but I don't feel that will get us anywhere. The platform's kept alone by a gas-based propulsion system. Well, that's nice, but unhelpful for me right now. Let's avoid these. The lighting system is actually really cool. Look at all the different flashes. Ow, oh, Sammy's eyes. Yeah, that's cool, isn't it? I mean, they're going crazy. I mean, guys, I'm not doing anything. I'm just trying to pass through the area. Stop being jerks. Oh! Alright, what we got here then? More Shigos. Ice. Ice Shigos. Oh, hello. Well, this one's immediately dead. I get it, you're trying to be the big man on campus or whatever. If this is a campus. Or big man. Could be a big woman on campus. Not sure. Don't know how to sex Shigoths. Bit difficult. I mean, you could probably try and look on the underside of it, but it might beat you up. Probably not worth the effort. Mm, just like dropping down here is probably not worth the effort. Oh, why is everything so ruined around here? Goddamn Chozo, you think they'll be able to keep their shit together? But apparently not. They've written stuff on the walls, but Sammy isn't scanning it, so I'm guessing it's not important. Maybe it's just like the recipes on how to make like Sheloth, Shegoth goulash or something. Seriously, you guys are getting way too aggy. Let's go for these uh, suspiciously well-hidden loading tunnels. Okay. This is a dead-end canyon, so I'm guessing I'm going to get something at the end of this. Right, let's have a no- Ooh, ooh, I had the fear then, I thought we'd frozen. Haha, <laughs> you see we're in a frozen area. Oh, that was too good. Uh, Alright. So we got some she down here, and big boxes of stuff, and- Ooh! Text. Chozo Law. Many Chozo have gone beyond now, and this is a mercy. Those of us who remain suffer in dimensional flux, drifting helplessly across time and space, Guided by unseen and inex inexorable currents, the Chozo who cling to sanity fight the tide, but our minds are weakening. Soon we will all be like the Turned, Chozo who have been utterly corrupted by the Great Poison. The Turned still hold to their Chozo forms, but their mind are black with fell intentions. Gone is the respect for life. They honour only destruction, and seek to disrupt the artifacts holding at the Great Poison. Uh, they're holding the poison at bay. All life taunts them, and they do not rest. Before long there will be all that remains of the Chozo here. Don't worry, guys. I'll sort you out. With violence. Oh, it's hoping for goodies, sir. Howdy. You guys are really bad at not showing off the bit that it's, you're not supposed to. Hello. Yoink. The music for this area is amazing, isn't it? Just so relaxing. Dun 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 dun. Anything else? I'm guessing there's probably some missiles or some other stuff here, but let's... For the time being... Oh, I think they're falling as I'm running. Hello? What have we got here? Is this the trackball? Boost ball! Oh, nice! Clunk! Now we can be speedy and zoomy. Boost ball acquired! Lovely. Hold B to get a speed boost. Nice. Which one's B? Uh... That one, I think. Look at this reasonably conspicuous half-pipe. It's the only way you could ever possibly get back up here. If only I had an item that would allow me to boost! Whee! Okay, this is pretty fun. Whee! Up! Oh, oh, fine. I don't care either. You would think there'd be a goodie to incentivize your, uh, your boosting, but I don't seem to find one. I feel kind of mean missiling innocent little creatures. But at the same time, bollocks to him. Whee! 
Searching for other half-pipe configurations. Well, I know where one is already. We found it last time. Alright. Is it going to be the one I'm expecting, by any chance, in the Talon Overworld, by the entrance to the... My god! It's the one I thought it was. Fine. I guess we're going to have to head back there, then. It's not too far a walk. What are you doing here? Damn, those guys are pretty sturdy, actually. Oh! Oh, dear! Please do not freeze me. There we go. Oh! Is there more? Oh, maybe jumping on their bodies is not a sensible idea. Who'd have thunk? We did check over here, didn't we? Yeah, because I remember we did, yeah. Okay. Well. Boost ball gained. Whee! Now. I suppose the most sensible thing to do now. Oh, hello. I recognise that suspiciously static looking shadow. It's our boy Ridley. Guess he's been busy in this area. Now we obviously want to get over there, but without an upgrade significant to our jumping ability, we're not going to get very far. Uh oh, careful. So, I think we should go on a mission back to the, uh, back to the Talon Overworld and go using our new powers of boost. I'm guessing this is a really efficient way of getting around now. Do, 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 do. So, I'm guessing the Chosen were like, we're not going to use any technology. I've decided I had to think about this over the last week. We're not going to use any technology except for these massive lifts, because the planet is just ridiculous and we can't travel without them. Yeah, the other reason, reasonable thing would have been, say, the pirates made them, because considering they've got a Chozo head over there, it seems unlikely. Do right. Hey, please don't shoot me. Just a ball of fun. Ah, I'm a ball burning ball of fun. Mistakes, mistakes. So we want to go back this way, don't we? Uh, please don't shoot me. Da -da -da -da. Don't possess me. Right. Once we make it all the way back to our ship, we use the half pipe, and I think I know exactly what skill it gets us. Please don't run the right way, yeah. Okay. Hey, Space Dragon. What can I do for you? Dickbag. No! No! Stop that! Man, you guys are such assholes. There's just no need for it. Ugh, come here. God damn it. Get it. Whee! I'll take that, thank you. Mainly because if I don't have it soon, I'm gonna die. Ugh. The only problem is you make this particular trip, like, probably slightly too much. No. No goodies? Wow, what a jerk. Because it's on a track as well, we can just zoom our way through. Woohoo! No! No! And there we go. Talon Overworld lift. It's only like a two minute journey. It just feels a bit longer, I think, because of all the doors and whatnot. Zoom, zoom, zoom. It's a bit of a shame because we've already done this trip. If we were doing this properly or efficiently, we would have gone to the drifts first, got the boost ball, then made this particular trip. But we've also got some of the goodies already sort of settled, haven't we? And we know exactly where to find the half-pipe, due to our earlier looking. I'm so sorry these innocent creatures have to suffer for my need of power-ups right now. I'm not sorry about these ones though, these ones are douches. Yeah, don't care. See, that's how little care about you, I can just shoot you and walk. You're a bunch of bads, and you're burrowing beetles, and you shouldn't just be here. So yeah, take me. Oop. Whoop. 
Sammy's like looking at me like muttering under her breath right now. I'm like, I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. I thought I was going the right way last time, but clearly I was wrong. There's no need to be huffy about it, all right? If I knew I was going the right way first time, I would have done it, and we would have been happy, and no one would have been upset. Here we go. Half pipe. Let's go straight in. Woohoo! Oh no! Oh, I'm going to make it. Here we go. Fuck these beetles. I don't care. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, we can kill them with a boost. No! Oh, you killed my momentum! You horrible jerk. Ugh. There we go. We've now made it up this suspiciously useful half pipe. And now we can continue into the land of right by my spaceship. I should have landed slightly further up to get this power up early. Any goodies here? Nah. Yeah, still loads of phase on around. What's that? Sammy got anything to say about that? Hmm. Here we go. Do not fall. We will look very silly. That's a big jump. Ooh, yeah. This is literally a cave with an item in it. This makes me sad. Space jump boots. Whee! Do my feet now look cooler? This is important. Press B. Oh, I can press- Ah, oh, nice. I can double jump. Lovely. Boy, how am I going to get out of this place? Oh, yeah. See, that's good game design, essentially, right there. Good game design is doing stuff exactly like that, where you reward your player immediately by showing them how their new skill works. Basic stuff. Good work. Okay, now we can reach areas we couldn't reach before, in many different ways. So, we're going to have to go back to the drifts, probably. And, uh... Let's have a look around here, though. Is there anywhere we can go with our new bouncy, bouncy feet? Probably not, as I can see. We can't open that door, which is the one we need to really to progress. And the, the frigate crash site, we need to have some sort of uh, ability to move through water freely, I think. So, let's head the way we came, which is... Uh, this way. Up. Honestly, getting those boots using a like a quick shortcut at the start would be very, very helpful. It's just to be an incredibly useful way of um, skipping so much, uh, like, optional content as well. I'd imagine to get like loads of missiles and things earlier. This is handy. Woohoo! Thanks, guys. Let me just bounce my. Oh dear God! Haha. <laughs> oh, Sammy, those reactions. I love you. Sounds pretty good. Whee. Double jumps are one of my favourite things in games ever. I don't know why. Double jumps are just really satisfying. Something about it. Yeah. Yeah, come through. Ah, excuse me. Incoming scan data. Predator activity analysis. An 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 analysis. Exactly where we were previously. Go figure. It's the area I was trying to get to. But we need the wave beam. How do we get the wave beam, I hear you ask? Well, isn't that the question? I mean, I know, obviously, it is, in fact, the question. I know the answer, though. But I will show you. So, first of all, we're going to drop all the way down and retrace our steps. Because backtracking is cool. I mean, genuinely, it is actually quite cool if you've got new power-ups. However, I don't think there's going to be anything super amazing to find on our way. Not yet, anyway. However, the drifts are going to have loads of new places we can now explore. Magmore Caverns probably does as well. Now think about it, we should look at the map. Oh no, the mouse! Ah! Sorry. Just noticed it was hiding at the edge of the corner there. It's naughty because it slowly creeps back in sometimes when I uh, jiggle my leg. I should stop jiggling. And have a drink, excuse me a second. Right. Uh, let's look at the map. Can I look at the map? I can look at the map. So we can't progress. Oh, we probably actually can go for the Twin Fires Tunnel now because it's. We should we should look in the Twin Fires Tunnel. Oh, maybe the reason was the f ah no we can't because it, we need the trackball right. I looked at the end and I was thinking yes we can definitely make this now but we can't. What about the rest of it? 
Uh, there's a thing there that I need to break through there to get to, probably. There's this bit, which we've done. Uh, I think we probably can't proceed much further until we get the boost ball. Uh, the spider ball, which is fine. At least we know. Right. Back the way we came. Woohoo! Hey! Yup! Woohoo! Huh, that guy's like, wow, he, she's so fast now. I'm like, I know! How cool is that? Dun, 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 dun. I wonder if you can do some interesting jumps to skip some of the uh, lava here. You probably can actually. You can probably go one, two, and take a little bit of fire damage, which isn't so bad. Any goodies? Yeah. So yeah, it just genuinely makes the maneuvering a little bit easier. And we're all about that, aren't we? Beep. But now we need to get back up there, which is a bit of a nuisance. Oh dear, these guns are nasty. Ouch. That's a lot of damage. Give me some health. We gotta kill these horrible farty creatures and avoid the goo that seems to last forever. But getting around, of course, is now easier, so we can just hop our way through the area. Ooh, probably just make a jump. Ah, no, I can't. Not with that thing there. Ow! Sammy, we got to talk about not getting hit by those things. It's just really not very uh, productive to our HP. Ah, we can actually go slightly higher. Ow. What is slightly higher at this point? Da, 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 da. What is this? It's also tall. Collapsible suspension bridge, functional requires power. The power seems to be a small round socket. This is a standard spinner device. Oh, a spinner device. Okay, so this actually requires the boost ball. Whee! Okay, I don't know where this is going to go, but I feel we should explore anyway. It might lead to power-ups, and if it does, then we're all happy, because we like power-ups. Well, especially Samus, it helps her live longer. Oh wow, okay, actually this is an endgame object, this is a friggin' artifact. Damn, well that was a good find. Yoink. We got a chosen artifact! This is the artifact of strength, the second of twelve. Sweet. Is there anything else in this room? Doesn't look like it. Oh no, there is. There's a thing in the floor that leads down somewhere. Aha! Nope. Here somewhere is something in the floor. Not quite sure where. Maybe behind the... Desium. Is that a power bomb? I think. We might have to come back for that one then. Well, that's interesting. I kind of wish we could put markers on the map. I don't know if we can. I don't think we can. Right, let's get all these, shall we? So, that is definitely how you get to the area uh, down there. Uh oh, guns, guns, fleet. Well, that was nice. Endgame object acquired. That's pretty handy. And now, all we got to do is zoom back to the drifts, like so, and explore the new things. Why would the pirates... Maybe, well, I guess the pirates were investigating the artifacts, but couldn't find a way to either claim them or dislodge them, maybe? That makes sense. I like that. That's cool. Beep. Anything doing that, playing this is making me is super, super excited for the new one. It's a shame that the series has been dormant for so long. Nintendo are really weird what they do with their franchises sometimes. Right, I think we should probably jump on 
I don't know, let's see. What's the most logical? Probably this one up here. Uh, yeah, probably that one, I'd say. Then we can make a jump to this one. I don't think there's anything else here, though. There is a weird noise. It's not like an item. Toodle bit. Oh, ouch. Looking forward to killing you, assholes, I'll tell you. They actually breathe ice when they die. That actually makes me kind of sad. A statue depicting a Chozo balancing the plane of existence on his hands. They were all about that kind of stuff, weren't they? What we got here? Ice parasite. Scavenging with a crystalline outer shell. Cool. Well, I'm gonna have to kill that guy too. Samus like chuckles. Haha, <laughs> nothing personal, kid. The ice parasite screams nanny. And then we all have uh a good old whale of a time. Ho ho ho. Oh, 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 you dick. Well, that's just unnecessary. Now, where do I have to jump up? Over that way. Right. And lo, failure is mine once again. I mean, I know the Chozo are pretty tall, but could they even navigate this very easily? This is a statue depicting the bust of a Chozo philosopher. The statue is flawless. This is one of a Chozo architect. The statue is flawless. A Chozo shaman. Several stress fractures can be seen. Okay, well I guess I need to do that in a minute. A Chozo warrior, the statue's flawless. The statue's hands are frozen in place and we got a grate here. Well, first things first, let's see what this does. Oops. That's why you scan everything. Now what does this do? Opens the grate up. Figured it would, I don't know, unfreeze the statue. There appears to be a shell of ice encasing a water basin. Well, it is cold in this place, I guess. Okay, so I guess we need to break this. Break that, and then we can... I love these kind of little puzzle things. What if you're quick enough you can actually make it through without, uh, without having to wait? I don't know. Okay. Chapel Tunnel. Wave Beam. Sure, why not? Aw, oh, come on, man. The trays are all about testing. All about testing. Just shows how much damage the charge beam actually does when you can, when you walk around the back of it like that. So, are these things been here the entire time, or do they, I guess the chosen sort of spiritual form, so they know? Ah, oh man, you can second guess this all day, but I'm guessing, I'm guessing here they knew when Samus would arrive, and so knew kind of when to set the traps up, maybe to test her. I could be massively overthinking this. Also, that's a big fucking dude. She goth. Supreme Predator of the Drifts. She goths are invulnerable to most beam weapons. The crystals in their back absorb energy, which they can fire at prey. Okay, that's bad. They have poor stamina. They hyperventilate after using their breath attack. Main 
making that mouth vulnerable. Soft underbelly is a she goth set with concussive blasts. Okay. Well. I guess we fill, we overcharge the crystals and then shoot them in the mouth. Or we go straight in for the underbelly. Oh, there we go. We can we can missile the uh, face. So we shoot. We perhaps shoot the. Can I go around and? Seems to work quite nicely. Doesn't do too much damage, so. Hey! So I guess I'll just missile its face for a little bit. Ooh. Yeah, as soon as it starts hyperventilating, its mouth stays open, like the uh, scan said. Oh, eh, that wasn't so bad. It's interesting, it's just a mini boss, I suppose. I was about to say, where the hell's my health power up, jerk? Sweet. Right, what was this? Wave beam, right. Fine, you got another beam. Unlike the past metros, though, these don't stack, they actually work separately. Which is interesting. Wave beam acquired. Press the C stick to the right to open up wave beam. I need to probably read up more about it at some point. But it does allow us to kill separate creatures. And we can still charge the wave beam. What's interesting is I wonder if the wave beam by default is better than the um uh, the, the normal beam, in terms of actual pure damage. I assume it is, but you never know. I didn't check the rest of that room out. I sure hope there wasn't any power uh, friggin' items in there further. Okay, so we know that there's a purple door... Uh, somewhere. There. There it is. So we can make our way back to that. I also need to check what, what that is in the ruins. I'm guessing it's a spider track. Would be my first and most probably likely thing. Yeah, they don't really care for that, do they? Who's laughing now, jerk? Ooh, that one veered to the side there. So we can just kill these things, as opposed to just getting hit by them all the time. Interestingly, when I charge, they seem to speed up. They- ah! They come towards the beam. I guess they want to absorb the energy. That's just outrageous. Whoop! Nice. Well, we know where we're heading, but first I'm going to go to a save room. It's making me a little bit sweaty. Not saving enough. Let's test this. Oops. Uh, bollocks. Okay, hold on. Hold your horses, Shigoth. I just killed your mum. No, it's actually weaker. It's weaker. So, for regular activities, you want the regular beam. The power beam. That's interesting. Right, let's save it quickly. Boop, 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 boop. Nice. Dun, 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 Now, let's go for that purple door. So, the general gist of that is you want to use it for, uh... Oh, come on, save me some time. Can I... Oh, yeah, I can climb up here, nice. Uh, you want to use the purple one for energy-type type creatures like these, as opposed to... Oh, hello! Makes my visor go all staticky. That's pretty cool. I didn't realize I did that. Now that's where the thing is up there. But now I can double jump. Can I actually? Oh, it's the game is having none of that. I tell you. Ouch! Ow! All right, guys, steady.
There we go. Right, let's try this again. I can... Can I double jump on this? No, there's quite a few invisible walls that's not happy with you doing, which is interesting. Right. So we do have to make our way around here anyway. Now the question is... The goodie is here. I can hear it, in fact. It's like a missile or something. There's a track. There's a spider ball track hidden in this wall or somewhere here. Yeah, ha! Okay, well, that's good to know. We'll come back to that later. Wrong button. Now, this leads us to. This doesn't actually lead us the way I want to go at all. What the hell? I went the wrong way. Uh, well, actually, it kind of does. I don't know if I can jump up that way, though. Right. F you guys. We're boosting out of here. Peace. Oh, we had no sky there. That was freaky. I'm going to chalk that to emulator quirk. I never saw the original do that. Right. Look at this. Beep, 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 beep. I'm guessing so anything that is ethereal or energy based is probably going to suffer greatly from having the wave being wave beamed. Also, we can now, now we can double jump. God damn it. Now we can double jump. We might be able to. Oh, hello. Didn't even notice that. Let's see what the chosen say about this area. None know if our temple, the cradle, will provide powerful enough. Oh, sorry, to prove powerful enough to contain this evil forever. How can we, the Chozo, hope for it to remain intact? when that which it guards rises in the darkness, growing always stronger. The fate of this world rests with the gathering of artifacts we call the Cypher, but even it is not all-powerful. It is strong, yes, an enchanted hole made of twelve links. Still, it is finite in its reach, and we who guard it are slowly succumbing. When our vigilance crumbles away into madness, the Cypher will be exposed to the fate of Talon Four and beyond our influence. Yeah, but guys, I'm here. I'm cool. Well, Sammy the Bounty Hunter, and we're here to kick ass. No. Okay. Hello, we got some ice bats or something over there. Dun 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 dun! Ah, so I guess this leads to a... Right, that led to the area we've already been to, which is the canyon. But this allows us to re to walk on top of it. Aha! A new creature has been downloaded. Ice Shriekers! Dead Shriekers! Really kind of hoping there'd be more goodies or something to find, but... Guess not. There is, I can hear it. There's something. Ha! Extreme heat. Damn it. What is that underneath the ice? Power bomb upgrade, maybe? Well, still, something to come back for. When we find an. Fuck. <laughs> when we find the ice beat. Excuse me, sorry. That was my bad. Right, let's go around. Oh, these guys are so aggy. Let it go, dudes. Let it go. Be more like that princess from Frozen. Sammy would make a good Disney princess. She'd kick ass. She'd rescue the prince. Okay. That okay, let's jump. Uh, oh. There we go. We have. Oh, are these new? No, they're the same old, same old. And it's much easier just to shoot them. The regular old beam. Away with you vile creatures. Spider track. One might assume we're probably going to get the spider track soon. Okay, some of these platforms are floating. It's amazing what the uh, the visor actually shows you. It's really cool. Ah, this looks... Oops. Okay. What does that do exactly? Hmm. There's also a power up behind that wall. 
something and hear it. I guess if we do both of these, something. Ah, it might. Ah, I know. I bet it's gonna make the water come out. Gonna make some water come out probably and raise the platforms because they're floating. Oh, or not? That was my assumption, but I could be mistaken. Oh, the music's going all spooky. Ugh. Dun 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 dun. Here we go. So now we should be able to raise the platforms. We don't want to fall either. Because. Like I said before, Sammy is hefty. And will fall. Ah, energy tank! That was the item that was buzzing behind the wall. Nice. I guess we could kind of want to go back up. Careful, careful, careful. Can I still make it to that platform up and round? Possibly not, actually. Let's try. No. Alright, so we got to do that again. That's fine. At least we got the item, though. So that's that out of the way. Oink. So let's do this again. Boop. I want to make it to the central platform. That's all we really need, isn't it? Okay, we got a couple of locations we can go. One's a wave beam door. One's a regular door, and one's a missile hatch door. Well, I can regular door first. Game doesn't think so, but I I, I appreciate the regular door. All right, maybe the regular door is a silly idea. Let's let's try the other doors. Maybe they're cooler. That's a long jump. I'm not entirely convinced I can make that. What about this one? Oh, hello! We got a fully fledged pirate! Shadow Pirate Stealth. A select group of space pirates have access to sophisticated cloaking technology. This gear has, gives them high levels of power. However, forcing them to rely solely. Oh, he uses high levels of power. Solely on melee weapons. Well, that's bad. Well, eat some missiles, you shitbag. Specimen storage. This is the. This is like a pirate base. Okay, we want to come, but I want to come the other way first. I think. I think. Uh, I think I'll check out the other, other, other directions in case one's like a save point or some other goodies. Right. Up. No, wrong button. Ah, oh, shit. That was not what I wanted to push. Okay, it looks like we can we can survive this. Oh, I'm so mad right now. I don't know what it is. Y just seems like the missile button. I just can't get it out of my brain that it's it's X or whatever the other button is. Uh, just weird, 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 weird. I just just got it. Like I said, got it in my brain that it's just the other missile button. Spending far too long in this one room, I swear. Right, the power of redoing puzzles. It's my secret power. Ouch. Here we go. Okay, I'm actually going to attempt to see what the hell's in this friggin' door now. Third time's a charm, right? Third... Th right? Right? Is this door just bugged? I mean, normally it's just load screens. I think it's unloading the water before it lets me go in the... No, maybe not. Or maybe the maybe the door's actually depowered. Okay. 
I didn't think it was. Maybe the door is actually uh, powered off. Okay. Right, well. Cool. Let's quickly save with them. Yes, I think I don't think they actually ever had a thing. It was a depowered door. Right. Sorry, that was my mistake. I genuinely thought the door was uh, active, but and I, I must have just hit it, but I didn't. So this is where Ridley must have been running away from. Well, at least we know we're wanted, right? New creature! Space Pirate! Sentient aggressor species, well trained in weapon and melee combat. Space Pirates wield galvanic accelerator cannons and forearm mounted scythes in combat. The species seeks to become the dominant force in the galaxy, and their technology may help them realize this goal. Ruthless and immoral, but the pirates care little for the, only co for the cost of their ambition. Only the results matter, and they take these very seriously. I love the space fire music, it sounds awesome. They're actually pretty well they actually fight really interestingly. They don't mo you know, they actually jump behind cover and do all the stuff. It's pretty cool. Okay, let's get rid of that auto cannon before we uh, continue. The doors have been unlocked. Well, so much for the silent entry. I guess they know we're here. And since they know we're here, I guess we don't have to give a flying fart. Mm -hmm. Ah, the map of the area. That's handy. Alright, Sammy, let's have a good look. That looks like a combat arena. So I'm guessing we need to maybe find a way to power that door through this pirate base. It's pretty big, actually. Fine, let's have a look. Friggin' space jerks. They're right to be scared of me, though. The hunter clad in metal is here to fuck your shit up. She is not gonna be running around crying. She's gonna be just killing you all. Oh, I missed. Oops. What if they got any good stuff for me to steal? Hello, hello. Research lab Hydra. Oh, hello. Oh, shit, I just broke some of their stuff. I love the way they run and fire their cannons. That's friggin' awesome. What a great animation that is. Increase acidity level recorded in the phase on amniotic bath. This is likely a side effect of the ingestion test. Phase on fluid bath, uh, bath level is 70%. So they were doing some sort of experimentation. Zenom S is undergoing relocation at Lab Hydra. Subjects transferred ordered after a pronounced increase in abhorrent behavior. Or aberrant behavior, even. S specimen was euthanized. Stay saying empty. So most of their specimens have been moved. But we actually got some important space pirate logs here, I think. We have codified the newfound energy source as Phazon, the V-index mutagen of which we have very little reliable data. Indications point to a meteor of unknown origin impacting approximately 20 years ago, expelling Phazon into the environment. This material appears to possess lifelike characteristics, mutating organic life forms strong enough to withstand its poison. These mutations appear promising, with abrupt evolutionary leaps appear appearing in single generations in generation reproduction. Plans to establish a full scientific team on uh, Talon 4 are being finalised. 
Mining operations have begun near the crater where Phazon appears to be the most concentrated. Daily Phazon yields have increased by 44% and our mining systems become more streamlined as personnel and equipment flows increase. Several incidents of Phazon induced madness have been reported, prompting augmented life support regulations in the deeper chambers. Symptoms include loss of equilibrium, erratic respiration, muscle spasms, and in the most extreme cases, hallucinations. A timeline reassessment for the refinery operation is recommended, as the material provides, uh, proves more unstable than initial analysis indicated. I really like this game's like in-depth like pirate lore sort of stuff they got going on. And the fact that the pirates aren't just idiots with guns, they're scientists, explorers, and murderers, you know. Not that Sammy's got any problems dealing with some of these pirates. Nothing a couple of missiles won't solve. Nice. So it was the pirates who put these boxes down here then. Hello, what we got here? Transfer of specimen 344 to Lab Hydra complete. Further infusion suspended pending security assessment. What the hell have they done? Ah! Shit. Cordite of the column appears to be weak. I can't remember what Cordite, which one Cordite is. Bomb? No, it probably isn't, is it? No, it's probably uh, probably a beam or something else. Hello, what we got in here? More pirate lore, I think. Let's have a look. New pirate data. Our initial test exposing Talon 4's indigenous parasites to Phazon appear to be successful. Increases in strength, size, and aggressiveness are common in all test subjects, as well as unforeseen evolutionary, uh, evolutions, like additional poison sacs within the abdomen, and the appearance of a second ring of mandibles in several subjects. These creatures were chosen because they're resilient, and it appears possible that given enough exposure to Phazon, they may one day be able to survive on any planet we transport them to. Our methods will have to be refined. We currently have a 100% extinction rate after the fourth infusion period and most survivors of the third are so violent and uncontrollable that they have to be euthanized. Even still, we remain hopeful that further experimentation will result in success. Ah, 50% of all logbook scans downloaded. Nice. Oops. Daily decontamination is now required for all personnel working in Lab Ether. More pirate data. Pirate encrypted decoded. decoded. Research outpost Glacier 1 is the, uh, the Fendrana Drifts region of Talon 4's mountain, uh, mountains. It's operating at 85% capacity. Sub-zero temperatures have made the Metroid slug... Metroid? Uh-oh. And easy to control, even those well into phase-on infusion cycles. Cold containment stasis tanks are sufficient for juveniles, but some of the larger Metroids have been moved to quarantine caves for safety purposes. Security doors remain an issue as malfunctions due to ice occur every day. Large predators in the waste are also concerned, as they continue to kill personnel in breach secure areas. Unfortunately, it has become clear that our containment teams cannot neutralize all of them without a vast increase in munitions and soldiers. Nice touch, by the way. The control panel, it's three fingers, well, two fingers and a thumb, like the space pirates. So, Metroids, that's not good, is it? Hello? That looks like a big one. I know. Oops. Let's blow these all up. I probably need whatever they can give me. What we got over here then? We got a big area here. And then we work back on ourselves to another big area. Okay. Alright, it's a shitload of pirates. Oh, hello. Howdy doodly do. The name's Sammy. I'm here to ruin your day. My specialities are cooking very, very efficiently with space pirate meat and rice. Really nice with rice. It's very tasty. A main research facility has been located. You don't say. It wouldn't be this one that like I'm currently in, would it? Huh. Well. What we got here? Lower node of astronomical holographic projector currently disabled. Ok. 
Okay. Well, let's enable it then. This could be important. Oh. Got another log here? Phase on mining is underway. Several garrisons have been established and terraforming of the Chozo ruins is underway as well. Security systems are operational and the science team continues to make progress in their biotech research. The drifts have proven to be an optimal location for research headquarters, and soon it will be joined by a fully full, uh, operational combat base and starport. If command's predictions are true, we shall rise to dominance in this sector within a decker cycle. Truly, these are glorious times. A new pirate data has been downloaded. Scans of the spiral sector de uh, detected a massive energy spike em emanating from a wanderer class planet identified as Talon 4. Scout reconnaissance was immediately dispatched to the center of the spike, a landmass at heading mark 40.08.02, returning with planetary samples and atmospheric imaging. Analysis shows the energy source to be an unstable reactive material of enormous potential. We are unable to form an accurate risk assessment at this time, but we are unlikely to find an energy source this powerful again. Analysis will continue, but currently, Talon 4 appears to be a viable secondary headquarters. Well, that's not ideal. Right, let's jam ourselves in some holes. Come on, Sammy. Whoop. Dun 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 dun. Well, everything's working again. And we've activated another one. You think you guys would have a bit more of an efficient way of doing this shit, I swear. Alright. Ooh, around we go. Oops. And next thing powered up. This is for a holographic projector, right? Not quite sure what we're gonna be doing with this, but Oh, this might be a spinner. Boop, boop, boop. Well, everything's now working. So this is going to be showing us a hologram of the solar system, I suppose? Oh, as well as something in the middle. Well, I thought the hologram would be more interesting, but hey, let's... Can we see what everything is? That is planet Billion. Quarantine. Atmosphere is rife with, uh... Materialis. Ascension gaseoid. Gaseous Global Exterminator Virus. Oh, okay, well, avoid. This is... Planet Talon 4. Wow, look at that crater site. That is big. Each system studies indicate that Talon 4 was a biological paradise prior to the impact of an extraterrestrial object. What remains of the biosphere is slowly fading due to exposure to phase on radiation. At current rate of decay, Talon 4 will be a barren Class 13 wasteland in approximately 25 years. Twin Tabula. Planet is best known for the Twin Fever, a disease caused by a viral strain native to Twin Tabula. In the stage of the disease, victims suffer from double vision. When the Twin Sight fades, the victim is near death. Ew. Planet Zebus. Huh, well that one we do know. Planet's crust is primarily eutheric core, making it ideal for subterranean construction. A class 19 planet, Zebus is in inhospitable to most bioforms. The world was considered unremarkable until it became a base for space pirate forces. Anything else here? Well, this is just the, uh... Well, that's quite cool, isn't it? Well, anyway, we need to move up. I love stuff like that, just little flavoury tech stuff. And it'll at least direct to Planet Zebus. Or Zebes, or Zebs. However you would like to pronounce it. Uh, I guess we need to continue going up. Is there a better way to go than this? Don't see another way up other than jumping across here. I forget, you can actually cover a lot more distance than I think I can. I didn't just push the wrong button. Ah, save room. Sure. We'll tell you what, we'll call it, we'll probably save it here for the day, but let's pick up whatever this item may be. Super missile. Friggin' yoink. Now that's handy. Da -da 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 
Press and hold the B to fire, then... Okay. Requires five missiles. Nice, that's a pretty monstrously good weapon. Cool. Well, we'll stop here for the day. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this. And uh, next time, we've got the friggin' pirate base to wreck. And once we're finished doing that, well, I don't know. It depends what items we unlock, I suppose. There's obviously gonna be something here at the research core. Probably the ice beam, looking at that door on the bottom there. So the ice beam will allow me to open up, potentially, uh, if we go to the world map, potentially, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, the Talon Overworld and the landing site, the crash site, because there's two ice beam doors. So, thank you very much for watching, everybody. I will see you all next time. Bye-bye for now.